Imagine you're tuning a special set of atomic magnets spins in a magnetic trap. And instead of most pointing down in their lowest energy state, you somehow flip more of them up, crowding the highest energy levels. Suddenly your little spin system acts as if it's hotter than anything with a positive temperature. It will gladly pour heat into any ordinary hot object you touch. Welcome to the weird world of negative temperature. How can hotter than hot exist? Normally heating spreads particles into more and more ways to share energy. But if you've jammed your system against its maximum energy limit, say every spin almost up, there's nowhere higher to go. In this upside down scenario, adding energy actually makes the system more ordered, flipping the usual intuition and creating a negative temperature state. Where have scientists seen this in action? Think back to the 1950S, when researchers cooled lithium fluoride crystals to just a fraction of a degree above absolute zero, then used radio waves to invert their nuclear spins, creating the first negative temperature magnet. More recently, ultra-cold atoms in laser-med egg crates have been shoved into the highest motional states, only to explode outward when they touch normal ultra-cold atoms, like a superheated fluid boiling over. Why does it matter? Negative temperature systems are perfect for making powerful lasers, where you need more atoms in excited states than in ground states. A built-in negative temperature reservoir that sends a beam of coherent light out without extra pumping. They also hint at new, ultra-efficient engines that could, in principle, extract more work than normal thermodynamics seems to allow, though always respecting the deeper laws. Can you touch hotter than infinity? While you can't grab a thermometer reading, you can witness its effects. Bring a negative temperature spin sample near a regular thermal bath and watch heat rush out of the demon-like system. Not into it. Cooling the bath as if your sample were an impossibly hot furnace. What's the big takeaway? Temperature isn't just how hot something is. It's a measure of how energy spreads among available states. When those states are capped, you can invert the population and step beyond the usual thermometer scale into negative values that defy everyday experience, showing that even the most familiar concepts in physics can flip upside down in the quantum playground. In most systems, adding energy lets particles access ever more configurations, increasing disorder, and defining positive temperatures. However, when a system's particles can only occupy energies within a fixed range, such as spins in a magnetic field, it is possible to invert their populations so that more particles sit in high energy states than low. In this inverted regime, supplying extra energy actually reduces the number of accessible arrangements, implying a formal temperature below zero on the absolute scale. Thus, a negative temperature system acts as if it were hotter than infinity because it will donate heat to any positive temperature body. A collection of tiny compass needles in a strong magnetic field can be flipped so nearly all point uphill against the field, creating more high energy alignments than low, like seating more people in the balcony than the orchestra seats of a theater, an inverted arrangement that defies the usual pattern of filling from the front. Positive temperatures describe situations where giving energy to a system always creates more disorder. Particles spread out into more possible states. In negatively tempered systems past a certain energy threshold, extra energy actually forces particles into fewer possible configurations, decreasing disorder. On a continuous temperature scale, these negative values sit beyond the infinite positive end, meaning they are conceptually hotter. Therefore, when a negative temperature object touches a regular one, heat flows from the negative temperature object into the ordinary cooler one. In a gas of atoms with only two possible energy levels, pumping atoms into the upper level until it outnumbers the lower level flips the system to negative temperature, akin to filling a parking garage from the top floor downward. Once the top is over full, any extra cars must spill down, reversing the normal fill order. Creating a negative temperature state involves pumping particles into excited states faster than they can relax, achieving more occupants in high energy spots than low. Since the total number of energy spots is limited, this inversion places the system on the descending side of its disorder versus energy curve. The system then naturally releases energy to any positive temperature neighbor, seeking to return to a more disordered positive temperature distribution. This dynamic underlies the amplified emission observed in devices like lasers. In a ruby laser, light continually excites chromium atoms so that more sit in an excited state than the ground state, enabling a burst of coherent light when stimulated like filling the top shelves of a pantry before the bottom ones. Once most items are up top, they tend to fall out first when a small perturbation occurs. 
Normally, adding energy opens up more ways for particles to arrange, raising disorder until a maximum is reached. In bounded systems, however, once that peak of disorder is passed, adding more energy actually reduces the number of possible arrangements. Negative temperatures arise in that descending region where disorder shrinks with energy. This reversal of the usual trend is purely a statistical consequence of having an energy ceiling. Magnetic spins in a fixed number of sites can fill all available excited state slots, after which any further excitation forces them into identical states, reducing overall arrangement choices, like a bookshelf that can only hold 10 books. Once full, adding extra books means stacking them in a single pile, losing the variety of arrangement you had before. A negative temperature system will always transfer heat to any system at positive temperature because it represents an even higher thermodynamic hotspot. However, such inverted states are inherently unstable. Without continuous energy input, they rapidly decay back to the normal, positive temperature configuration. Ensuring a sustained negative temperature condition thus requires carefully isolating the system and persistently pumping energy faster than it can leak away. This metastability distinguishes negative temperature phenomena from everyday thermal behavior. Trapped ions pumped by lasers into inverted energy distributions will spontaneously relax and must be continuously driven to maintain inversion, like balancing water at the top of a hill in a bucket. You, you must keep adding water constantly to keep it there. Otherwise, it spills back down. As more energy is added, the system abruptly flips from a normal distribution to an inverted one once a critical pumping rate or level is reached. This threshold behavior mirrors first-order phase changes, where a tiny extra push causes a sudden macroscopic shift, such as water boiling. Beyond this point, many emergent effects appear, dramatic changes in conductivity, sudden bursts of coherent emission, or abrupt magnetic reversals. Recognizing and controlling these thresholds is crucial for harnessing negative temperature effects in devices. A gas of ultra-cold atoms can transition from a normal distributed state to a fully inverted one in a narrow window of radio frequency pumping intensity, like a locked door that remains closed under increasing pressure, until a small extra nudge suddenly swings it wide open. Negative temperature mediate form the heart of lasers and masers, where population inversion underpins stimulated emission of coherent light, or microwaves. They also inspire conceptual designs for heat pumps or refrigerators that exploit heat flow from negative to positive temperatures for efficient energy transfer. In quantum simulators, inverted states may allow exploration of exotic phases of matter not accessible at positive temperatures. The paradoxical thermodynamics of negative temperature systems thus opens doors to novel technologies. Amplifiers based on inverted atomic populations enable telecommunications lasers that power modern internet infrastructure, like pumping a swing so high that each push sends it beyond the ordinary arc gaining more momentum than any push could at normal heights. Engineering and measuring negative temperature states demand precise control over isolation, pumping interaction, and detection of population distributions. Any unwanted coupling to the environment or incomplete inversion leads the system back to positive temperatures. Sophisticated spectroscopy and real-time monitoring are needed to confirm a true negative temperature regime. Overcoming decoherence and relaxation channels remains the primary experimental hurdle. In nuclear spin systems used for magnetic resonance amplification, maintaining inversion requires low temperatures, strong fields, and fast pumping sequences to outpace decay, like trying to keep a house at 10 dc inside while the outside is at 20 dc. <laughs> you need flawless insulation and continuous refrigeration Studying negative temperatures challenges and enriches our understanding of thermodynamics and statistical mechanics, inviting refinements to the tenets of entropy and equilibrium. Advances in cold atophysics, trapped ion arrays, and superconducting qubits may enable controlled exploration of inverted regimes in many body quantum systems. Theoretical work on non-equilibrium fluctuations could generalize our notions of work and heat in negative temperature contexts. Ultimately, these studies promise deeper insight into the mysteries of hotter-than-infinity states and their technological applications. Proposals to simulate early universe models use negative temperature ensembles to mimic certain cosmological conditions in tabletop experiments, like charting the top of a mountain beyond known peaks. Once you reach it, the landscape of physical law presents entirely new vistas, 